it appears that there were people upset with this video uh, known as the Innocence of Muslims um, who allegedly were motivated to attack the U.S. consulate in in Libya because of that. And we're also in Egypt. There were people who were motivated to attack the U.S. embassy there because of this video. Um, the precise uh, circumstances of how these people came to see the video and how it went viral for them and how it motivated them still still is unclear. The trailer opens with a scene of very scared, uh, and I, I should preface this by saying that the production values are very bad and the acting is terrible, and it's just all around a very amateurish production, and that's an insult to amateurs. Um, uh, it opens with uh, Christians, apparently Coptic Christians in Egypt, feeling very scared of Muslims coming after them and Muslims attacking them. And then it makes a rather rapid shift to um, what purports to be a biography of the Prophet Muhammad, which depicts him as a sexual libertine, a violent person, um, someone who, you know, basically a terrible person. Two versions of a 13 or 14 minute trailer that were uploaded in July to YouTube by a user calling himself Sam Basile. Uh, late last night and this morning, two news outlets reported that Basile was in hiding. Um, that was the AP and the Wall Street Journal. Um, both of those stories reported that they had spoken with Basile uh, from California, uh, where it was implied that he lived. Uh, he said he told one of the news outlets that he was a real estate developer in California and that he had raised $5 million from 100 Jewish donors to make the film. Now, there's no evidence of a real estate developer named Sam Basile in California. In fact, I've found no evidence of a person named Sam Basile in California. In one account, he was 52 years old. In another account, he was 56 years old. In one account, he claimed to be an Israeli citizen, something that the Israeli government has told reporters is not true. The people who appear in the film from their accents appear to be American. But the, because we don't really know who Sam Basile is uh, and whether he's an American citizen or not, uh, is I think we're, we'd be speculating at that point. Most Muslims realize that this was the work of some fringe actors and not representing the views of the United States government or even the majority of Americans, even though there is obviously rampant Islamophobia in the United States. Um, I think the majority of Muslims around the world understand that this is not representative of what Americans think of Islam, um, notwithstanding the fact that we do have a problem with um, anti-Muslim bigotry in the United States. So I would hope that uh, people would keep all of that in mind uh, and keep in mind that the people who reacted to the film are also in the minority that most, most Muslims around the world would not react to this film or a film like it with violence.